Dr. Falstaff and Lucy. Time Travelers. Physics Fiction Fantasy. Physics and Fiction Fantasy. I think better and faster when I walk. So, I will walk and talk about physics fiction fantasy and physics and fiction fantasy. Physics principles as used in fiction fantasy films prove to be always mostly wrong, but that is not crucial. One of the purposes of films is to expand our reality to make us feel more liberated and more powerful. The focus will be on the nature of time and immortality, free will, and the flow of time, time drilling travel and time hopping travel, and the consciousness of time and immortality. In my work on both physics fiction fantasy and physics and fiction fantasy, I benefited from Einstein's work on the nature of time and the time machine by H.G. Wells. Alan Ladd. A long, long time ago, in 1960, when I was a 12 year old boy, I encountered Alan Ladd, my hero, Shane. That encounter in Montenegro, Yugoslavia, amplified my everlasting love of cinema. The Falstaff Trilogy. The story about Dr. Victor Faustaff was published in four books. That was in the period from 2002 to 2007. It culminated in the publishing of the Faustaff trilogy in 2011. Come I am that I am. I am all that there has ever been. I am all that there will ever be. I am the everlasting. Conceptual Pillars of the Falstaff Trilogy I had built the story about Dr. Falstaff, based on a number of novel conceptual pillars such as, among others, the key of human immortality, human existence codes, mortal and immortal human existence codes, code 1 to code 5 and code 6 to code 13, respectively, augmentation of the human brain capacity, by the use of the ephemeron, time particles, beams, time hopping travel, time strings, spontaneous and stimulated time strings exchange, and relative absolute death. The novel Falstaff Conceptual Pillars were first published in 2002. The overlapping of the ideas in various works by various authors has been a common phenomenon throughout the centuries. If, however, my concepts of the human existence codes, mortal and immortal human existence codes, code 1 to code 5 and code 6 to code 13, respectively, have been used by creative individuals without my written agreement, it will be treated as a copyright infringement. The nature of time and immortality of the code 6 to code 13. Dr. Falstaff the stupid worm, as referred to by Lucifer. Lucifer. The wicked worm, as referred to by Dr. Falstaff. Stupid worm, embrace mortal life, indulge in it, and the fear of death will fade away. 
The search for immortality will become a straight nonsense clearly evident even to a stupid worm like you. Look at your life. Hard work to gain the knowledge. Ignorances. Blist. You have never experienced the true joy of mortal living. Subconsciously, do you want to experience the spices of life? That is why you want to prolong your life. Indulge in life as a mortal human being, and free yourself from all fears. When was the last time when you really got laid? Poor Sarah, your wife, she is so lonesome, and is sex-starved. Wicked worm, you suggest that I defy death by indulging in life. I have a better program. I'm about to eliminate death. Stupid worm, by defying death you are defying your own true existence. Immortality. Code 6 to Code 13. Dr. Falstaff, the immortal Code 13. The ruler of time. Time drilling and time hopping travel. In time drilling travel, as found in The Time Machine, 1895. By H. G. Wells, you move from the departure time domain to the destination time domain, passing through all time domains in between. Depending on the speed of drilling you can enjoy the landscapes of the past epochs. This mode of time travel is time-consuming. Visually, it is a horizontal movement. In the film, Lucy, 2014, our heroine, Lucy. Scarlett Johansson takes a time-drilling trip into the past, and enjoys the beautiful landscapes of the epochs long gone. She ends up in the time domain of her namesake, Lucy, our primordial mother. I was fascinated by this encounter of the two Lucys. Hats off to the creators of the film. Luke Besson's, Lucy, 2014, is full of surprises. The master actor, Morgan Freeman, easily conveys that to the audience. As to Darwin's evolution of a human being, Darwin, himself, was deeply worried about the missing link. Some of my friends confidently state that the missing link will be missing forever. Obviously, they want Darwin to lose. Some of my friends, on the other hand, categorically state that Adam, our mutual friend, is definitely the missing link. Joke or not, obviously, they want Darwin to win. In time hopping travel, you first hop up into the Quob code. In the Quob code, you are a code, your Eigen ID code. Then, you hop down into Desire Time Domain. This mode of time travel is not time consuming. It is instantaneous. Visually, it is a vertical movement. The time hopping travel and the space hopping travel, as found in Stefan's fiction fantasy novel The Falstaff Trilogy, as it was evolving from 2002, 2005, 2007, up to 2011. Einstein's time space time travel. This is not the time travel, as found in Einstein's space time travel whereby you move through both the time and the space points. This type of travel consumes both the time domain and the space domain according to Einstein's theory. The Time Hopping Travel In the time hopping travel, you exclusively move through the time domain. When you find yourself in any particular point in the time domain, you find yourself simultaneously in all the points of the space domain. 
the time hopping travel is instantaneous. In this mode of travel, you can move, hop, from the planet Earth to any space point in our universe in an instant. The space hopping travel. In the space hopping travel, you exclusively move through the space domain. When you find yourself in any particular point in the space domain, you find yourself simultaneously in all the points of the time domain. The space hopping travel is instantaneous. In this mode of travel, you can move, hop, from any place on Earth, say New York, to any place on Earth or any place in our universe by hopping unto any desired time point in the past or the future in an instant. Every human being is given an Eigen ID code by Quab the Giver, the Supreme Being. In the process of reincarnations, you are changing the robe. Your physical body. Your Eigen ID code, however, is unchanged. After she has slowly sublimated from her chair, Lucy sends a message, I am everywhere. Lucy. 2014. This is typical for time hoppers, as they are time hopping, they enjoy their existence of being everywhere in space. Apparently, Lucy went on a time hopping trip. I doubt that the creators of Lucy 2014 has in mind the concepts of time hopping and time drilling. This is how the sequences were seen through the angle of the False Death Trilogy. The Time Climbing Travel Time climbing and time ladder and the flow of time are easily visualized by using the analogous mountain climbing and the river flow, down below. The higher you ascend the mountain, you see the larger part of the river down below, and the less recognizable the river flow becomes for you. Let us now visualize the mountain, as the time mountain, or the time ladder, and the river flow, as the flow of time. As you ascend the time mountain, or the time ladder, the larger part of the river of time, you see, and the less recognizable the flow of time becomes for you. I am that I am. I am all that there has ever been. I am all that there will ever be. I am the everlasting. On the top of the time ladder, there is Quab the Giver, the Supreme Being. Of course Quab can climb the time ladder, up and down, of his own free will. From the top of the time ladder, Quab sees the whole river of time, which is, for our universe, some 100 billion years in duration. The flow of time, itself, stops for Quab the Creator. Quab sees, at once, our past, present, and the future. I am that I am. I am all that there has ever been. I am all that there will ever be. I am the everlasting. Free will and the flow of time. From the top of the time ladder, Quab the Creator sees and knows the whole history of our universe and the human race. This does not mean that Quab controls the evolvement of the human race. Human race evolves via their free will, via their accumulated knowledge of the physics laws, and via the ultimate code, the Quab code, which contains the hidden purpose of Quab the Giver for the creation of our universe and the human race of the Code 1 up to the Code 13. 
Quelb created five mortal codes. Code 1 to code 5 and 8, immortal codes. Code 6 to code 13. Via physics knowledge, the human race tends to reach the knowledge of the Quelb code. The process, itself, both expands and curbs your free will.